So what kind of advice would you have for somebody who's in that transition stage of the military that they're either getting out in the next 12 to 18 months or they're already out or they've been out for a while and they just can't find traction? What, what kind of advice would you have for a person like that? Well, it's interesting to use the word transition. Um, I was uh, listening to a speaker a couple months ago and he'd been out for 18 years and he said, I'm still transitioning, right? And I thought that was interesting. I never thought about it that way. Because you're right, we think of transition as, oh, after deployment, after active duty. Mm-hmm. Those first, you know, three to six months, I'm transitioning. Well, no, I've been back from Iraq for 10 years. Um, I came back from another deployment about two and a half years ago, and I'm, I'm always transitioning, right? We are different than we were when we left. And so we're always transitioning. The best advice I can give um, anybody transitioning, if you want to call it that, is look at all the opportunities and don't take no for an answer. The challenge is when we go from the military to this big scary place we call the civilian world, no one here speaks our language, right? Or maybe not no one, but most people don't speak our language. They don't have the same culture we have. They don't know how to read a military resume. They don't understand military transcripts. So military personnel a lot of times settle for jobs because their resume does not show all the soft skills that they bring. Right, your hard skill might be a machine gunner, right? That doesn't translate well in the civilian world. But your soft skill might be problem solving, might be leadership, might be physical fitness, right? And those soft skills can be reapplied anywhere. And also the ability to learn in the military. Uh, we're constantly going to schools. We're constantly being mentored by other leaders. So that ability to learn and give back does not translate well on, on resume. So don't go out and just settle for that job because uh, a company says, oh, we'll hire you because you're military. There's more to that. Get what you deserve. 